as you can see by the title, uh, Back to My Roots, if you guys followed my channel since this, you know earlier this year, I was opening a lot of basketball products, uh, particularly stuff from the 89 to mid-90s range. Um, just kind of opened everything that I really wanted to open, uh, minus a few different things. Uh, I wouldn't really say I had my eye on this in particular. I did the top set, uh, the Topps Gold set. Uh, I think it was end of last year, earlier this year, I got one for under 100 bucks before the price of that blew up. Um, and Topps Archives, I opened like three boxes of those. Uh, I have the Jordan in my collection, it's PSA 9. Um, but the Topps Gold set has, so the cards are stamped, and you can only get these as sets, I do believe. And there's only so many of them out there. Um, you do get the entire set in here, and you also get the Shaq. It was his rookie year in 1992, um, and you get that card. It's like an insert card. So that card and the Jordan alone uh, are worth what I paid for this box. If you're wondering, I did pay uh, $200 for this box. No, normally it sells for around $250, and I do believe when the Jordan hype and everything was going on, the documentary and all that stuff, this set was going for a lot more money than that. So, yeah, as you can see, it's factory sealed. Uh, just look at the plastic here. Got the end logo, got the nice factory seal, it's nice and tight. Got the original tape on the box. Nothing, nothing's been been tampered with uh, from what I can tell. So yeah, pretty stoked on this. We're gonna pull the Jordan out of there, pull some some of the other Hall of Famers. We might grade a handful of cards from here, so it's definitely gonna be worth it. Yes, I did pick this up on eBay, and I did buy it uh, within the first day of the person listing it, because I thought they undervalued it at the $200 price point. Uh, the cheapest ones were typically around 250 um, So, yeah, Colleen's in here, Lee Aaron's in here, Jaw Time Cards, Jesse Pinkman. Uh, yeah, there's the Jordan card in here. Ezra's in here, what's going on? Uh, I'll show you guys a few pickups actually first before we break into that. Um, I have, like I said, been picking up some vintage stuff, uh, particularly basketball. These were just throw ins. Got the Dennis Johnson Hall of Famer there. Uh, picking up some Larry Bird's. This was his first solo card. His 80 tops, of course, has Magic Johnson and Irving on it, uh, the more famous one. Uh, but this is his 81 uh, tops card. So just pretty iconic. And with that documentary coming out here sometime, hopefully this next year, uh, with Magic Johnson and all of them, it's really going to shed some light on, on Bird. But this card's got a pretty significant value, especially in a PSA 8 or 9 condition. These ones are probably more like PSA 7s based on the centering, but they're still worth picking up, and I paid about 35 bucks a piece for them. Um, so, yeah. Fab, what's going on, Fabe? How often do I buy boxes? Not super often. This is the first box I bought in quite a while, actually, uh, hence the title of the video. Uh, a couple more things we're going to look at real, real quick before we crack this box open. Um, as you know, I'm picking up the original EX cards. I just think they're... They're highly under uh, appreciated and undervalued. Uh, this one's Electrode. Uh, it's from 2004. I'm not 100% sure which set this is from. Uh, let's see here. Is it from Fire Red Green Leaf? It might be the Fire Red. I'm pretty sure. Fire Red Green Leaf, uh, which is, was an amazing set. You had that Charizard in there, which is now worth, you know, like what, like five, six grand on a PSA 10. You had the Blastoise, of, uh, the Venusaur. You had uh, some. Secret Rares, Articuno, the Cracked Ice ones of Moltres and Articuno and Zapdos. And you also had a Secret Rare in there, which we're actually going to take a look at that next. But it's really tough on these cards because of the, the silver shiny borders, but you'll see like little scratches along the borders and stuff. Something going on right there a little bit. Um, and I think the hollow itself, just maybe a few little very, very light scratches. Back looks really solid on this card. Uh, so I think it's got a shot at definitely like a PSA 8, which is kind of what I'm aiming for on these on these cards. You know, to find a true pack fresh mint or gem mint card is very tough on these older cards. Um, but yeah, a nice near mint, near mint to mint card. I'm more than happy to put that in my collection. This will be getting graded. I think I paid 25, 30 bucks for this out the door. Maybe even, I think it was actually like 20 bucks. They had a $30 on it. Or best offer, and I offered him twenty and and took it. And I seen there's a, just a tied, tiny little bit of wear on it, but as I'm seeing it in my hand, it looks like a probably, hopefully a PSA eight. Um, 
So nice card there. And then the other pickup we got in the mail today, uh, which I'm pretty excited about, is the Michael Jordan Beam Team card. This is a second year Beam Team card. Uh, this is from 1993 Stadium Club. I bought a box of these and I did pull the shack, but it was all messed up because the cards were sticking together. So it's in the screw down, old screw down case. I'm actually gonna bust that out. Um, the other thing I wanna show you, uh, these secret rares I really feel are undervalued. From These are also from the Firebird Greenleaf. This was the, secret, the first secret rare. You can see number card number 113 of 112. Picked these up for $45 a piece, which I thought was very, very um, undervalued for a Charmander. It's a Charmander, it's a secret rare. And if you were to buy the packs of Fire uh, Red Green Leaf, even to try to pull one of these, I'm sure those, those packs are super expensive. This one was a little more scratched up on the hollow. Uh, I can't really show you guys on camera. Maybe you can see a little bit of the scratches, but the back looks f just phenomenal. Uh, the, the person did not have pictures of the back, so I asked for them and they looked very, very clean. So I'm thinking, hoping, hoping on a PSA 8 on that one. And then this one, which just looks really, really, really nice. The, the hollow was pretty flawless. Maybe a slight, small, little, tiny scratch. But I'm thinking PSA 9 on this one. So PSA 8 and a PSA 9. Super stoked to get those. I'm going to start buying the Secret Rares from the uh, EX era as well here soon. Um, and those were just kind of like the first ones I stumbled on. and was like, yeah, it's Charmander. I'm buying it. It's undervalued. Uh, the Michael Jordan PSA 10. I'm not sure if you're talking about this card. I'm not really 100% sure. I think I paid $60 for this. 60 70 bucks somewhere in that range. Just around the typical price of this card here. Just one that I've probably wanted for a while but never picked up. I had the um, the 92 Beam Team 1 and I graded it. And it had a slight little like flare up. Not really a bend in the card but it was like it flared up kind of in the corner area and it PSA graded only like a six so I ended up just cracking it and selling it raw I figured it wasn't even worth keeping um what made you go to cardboard I'm not sure what you're asking Eddie there go to cardboard uh, let's see here let's take a look at this Jordan before we start opening this set here as you can see it was in that screw down case which was pretty old and they got it in a sleeve that looks pretty old as well so, all right, so let's take a look here. Got that glossy surface. Maybe a little scratch right there. Uh, corners are actually pretty nice looking and the, and the surface has a nice gloss to it. I'll probably clean this off a little bit before I send it in. Um, ooh, the edging kind of has a weirdness to it. So, right in there at the at the edge kind of looks weird so i'm not really sure what happened there um but like i said it has like a gloss to it so hopefully it's psa 8 worthy um i'll just like i said i have to clean the surface off and hopefully cross our fingers on that one it's just a nice card i wanted to add to my collection uh, so jordan and then of course the bird and if everybody knows what these are worth i'm sure those are only like a buck or two I mean, he's a Hall of Famer, Dennis Johnson. Um, I think I just picked up a few of his rookie cards. Um, yeah, the 70, was it 76, 77 tops? Or 77, 78, I'm not sure, but yeah, a good uh, low value um, Hall of Famer there. So, you guys don't mind hitting the like button, I do appreciate it. It's a small warp at the net. Is that a small warp? At the net, small warp. If you're talking about the Jordan, I didn't see any warping. Take another look at it at the net. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't see anything. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not like looking at it with a fine tooth and comb right now, but we'll see. We'll see how that fares out. All right, so what y'all came for? We got the, um, we got the uh, archives set. Stoked on this one. So I'm guessing the cards are like a long ways, like this, kind of weird. I was surprised how small this box was. They shipped it in a bubble mailer. I'm like, man, this is like that small of a box. That's crazy. So 
All right. Um, Jorge, what's going on? Sorry if I missed you. Sly one. Uh, this is... Uh, so it's... It says the rookies because basically it's all the images on the cards are like of the year they were drafted, but it's on a, like a card stock, like a, you know, the baseball, um, cards. You, you'll see once I open the box here, Carson, sorry if I missed you there. Um, oops, where's my knife? Okay. My LCS had a couple of these from back in the day. Still priced at $30. Jordan check from the first box graded nines. Dang, Kyle, man, you killed it on that. So, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. It's probably not easy, any kind of easy way to do this. Just put the plastic here. Yeah, I got a um, Shining Legends mat, which I opened quite a while back, and I, I think I was using it for a while, and I kind of stopped. So I just decided it would be a little bit better of a background. So I can see even the uh, plastic. doesn't look 28 years old, but <laughs> um, it's got the Topps logos on there. Very cool. So, and then of course the boxes, I mean, perfect mint shape, and you got this original plastic, you see the plastic, or the tape's a little discolored over time. So, PSA 10 Hunter, what's going on? And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. There's the cards. So, hopefully, like, I know sometimes the tops cards can be a little stuck together, but think these ones are going to be so very very nice man stoked on this set here i saw a psa collector he opened this set up a while back so we got craig elo you can see it's got that gold um stamp on there it's a really nice stamp it's like textured so that's what sets these apart from just the base set that doesn't have the gold stamp on it. So, got our first Hall of Famer here. We got Vladi Divac. Oops, set that over there. Um, as you can see, uh, this is just like the 89 Tops baseball set. So it's, it uses that same style. Uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about wrappers, which is nice. Um, so it's definitely top to bottom centering. And the logos are different on, like this one's on the bottom of the card. Um, very nice. Uh, next, we got Mark Jackson. I would say he was probably made famous from the uh, the brothers that were on the card that committed murder from the 89 Hoops. That's what I can think of. So, Mitch Richmond, which I believe he's in the Hall of Fame. And you can see that's like, I guess, the 1988, or actually, 84, 85. Let's see here. Kansas State. So 89, is that 89? That can't be. I don't know. You guys will tell me, but tops card there. Then we got Carl Malone. Another, that's one of the, I guess, nicer Hall of Famers there. Fortunately, that one's pretty off-centered. So that's not going to be gradable whatsoever. Not a big deal. I think probably a PSA 10 on this would probably only be like 40 bucks or something. We got Ron. Oh, yeah, the Menendez brothers. Thank you for, yeah. So we got Ron Harper, Willie Anderson, Reggie Lewis. If any of these guys are like big names, let me know. But Ken Norman, Rodney McRae, uh, Amelie Fresco, what's going on? You guys, don't mind hitting the like button. We got 25 in here. Glenn Rice, which actually, uh, he was an all star, I think, at least. Um, I graded a couple of his rookie cards, but they're like, no, nobody wants to buy them. Ricky Pierce, part of that Bad Boy Pistons team. He looks like a bad mother, mother effer right there. Uh, Tim Hardaway. Um, Tim Hardaway, was he a Hall of Famer? I don't think so. Maybe he was, I'll set him in that pile. Kevin Johnson, fans for that dunk he did over Olajuwon. He was only like 6'2", I think. Uh, and just, oh, we got Ralph Sampson behind there. Uh, let's see here. No, he was only six foot one. He, he had that open lane. He came up and dunked, and that was pretty uh, amazing. We got another Hall of Famer, Ralph Sampson. This is the uh, 
kind of the insert set. Ooh, maybe these cards are going to stick a little bit. Whew, thank God that wasn't the Jordan. We got Jerome Kersey, Nick Anderson, Sean Kemp. There's a nice one. Not in the Hall of Fame, but famous for his dunking abilities. And it's on the 1990 tops. Uh, variation from baseball. I was buying a ton of this set when I was a kid. Um, and of course, his 90 hoops and 90 Fleer. Probably the more iconic rookie cards of his. So we're going to sleeve him up, anyways. All right. Next, we got a Patrick Ewing. Once again, stuck. Stuck like stupid. Just kind of. Kendall Gill and. Kurt Rambis. It's nobody great there. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'll really grade these. These aren't really too big of a deal. Pretty much just looking at the so kind of the bigger guys in here, the base cards, and you know mostly the Shaq and the Jordan. Uh, Kendall Gill, Thurl Bailey, Cliff Robinson. He's got the '89 tops there. Maybe this was part of the '89 tops set as well. We got James Worthy, Hall of Famer. A guy that might might see a rise in value when that documentary comes out as well, because he was on that Lakers team for their for their later championships. Um, and he's a Hall of Famer as well, so definitely I think his eighty six Fleer is his rookie card. So I need to look at getting one of those at least. This one's got a factory line in it. So, even though these are nice and fresh, you're not going to get, like, PSA 10s on all of these. You're probably looking at a lot of 9s and possibly 8s, especially if there's bad centering. We got John Stockton, very nice. So, I believe he was drafted the same year as Jordan. Um, nice card. I think he's kind of undervalued. I mean, he just had this, like, look to him where he didn't really look like he was much of a threat, but he really was. Um, he has uh, all-time. He's all-time leader in assists and steals. Of course, he played with Carl Malone, and they had uh, a lot of runs at the, at the championship. But unfortunately, the Bulls kicked their butt every time. Um, but yeah, definitely a force to be reckoned with. I've got. A few, I bought and graded his '88 um, Fleer rookie card, and got a PSA nine. That, that's in the collection. You can still get those for relatively a good price. Where did I see it? Some a little bit of yeah, right by his face. There's some kind of paper loss kind of going on there. Oh, Stevie TV, what's going on? Yeah, 90 hoops. <laughs> That's probably my least favorite hoop set because of the gray borders and the chipping that all those cards have. Uh, Jordan come get back, didn't come back. I think the Jazz would at least do. Yeah, they definitely could have. I mean. Uh, we got B.J. Armstrong. I liked him. He always looked like a little kid. Even now, he's like 50, 50-something. 50 he just looks young. Uh, we got Mookie Blaylock. Another guy. I think I graded his cards, too, his rookie. Isaiah Thomas, Hall of Famer. A lot of people think he should have been part of the Dream Team, but Stockton went. And, uh, yeah, he wasn't too friendly of a player. And, you know, I think Jordan didn't like him. Possibly even Magic wasn't a fan, so that might have been the reason why he didn't go. But of course, in the documentary, he wouldn't he wouldn't say. Sam Perkins, who was, uh, I believe he was drafted before Jordan, because <laughs> uh, he was supposed to. People were big on big men back then. Uh, he was six foot nine. I believe it was Sam Perkins. You guys will correct me in the chat. Um, or was it Sam Bowie? I can't remember. Uh, Dave, uh, Danny Manning, Reggie Miller. There's a nice one. Uh, maybe it's definitely top to bottom. So, selling sports cards mainly basketball. Um, Emily, uh, just collect what you like. Try not to worry and and try not to buy into hype. You know, especially with the newer stuff. If you start buying these guys that are everybody's talking about and everybody's going crazy about, the prices are really high. And, you, and you're look and you're looking at just collecting them and holding on to them. There's a good chance those cars are going to come down in price. We got James Worthy, 
another OC, and a Dominique Wilkins. Another one that's so a lot of these cards are top to bottom, unfortunately, on the centering. So now I'm really worried about that Jordan being really off and probably being like a PSA 8. But it, I mean, just buying it, even it in raw condition is like at least 100, 150 bucks. So, you know, Chad said Sam Bowie. That's what I thought. Why did I think it was? <laughs> yeah, Sam Bowie got drafted before Jordan. Um, best game Jordan's ever played in his career was actually when they were running ones and twos. With the dream team yeah the dream team um practice was jordan killed it rolando blackman Ooh, we got a nice little chunk of cards here so got 20 likes 21 likes you guys don't mind leaving a like if you haven't we got Derek coleman we got the scotty pippen which is a nice nice one it's contemplating grading but i'm seeing the top to bottom on that's pretty bad so Definitely not going to be worth it, but really nice card. The yeah, of course he was 1980, 88. Well, his first card was 88, but he might have got drafted in 87. It looks like it, so that's why the card is like the 87 baseball, that famous like wood border to it. Now we got Terry Porter, J.R. Reed, got Chris Mullen. He was another guy that. A lot of guys said he was like the most pure shooter. Um, Chris Mullen was just great. So another Hall of Famer there. Another That one's actually thicker on the bottom than the top. Another Hall of Famer here. Played alongside Sean Kemp. Uh, it's Gary Payton. A little top to bottom once again on that one. He's not one of the big Hall of Famers, but I mean, still Gary Payton. Hakeem did too, but that made sense. Yeah. All right, we got Pooh Richardson. Kind of a funny name there. Lionel Simmons. He's stuck to something here. Stuck to a Mark Eaton. Purvis Ellison. Looks like that's one of the uh, insert cards there. Olden Polly Nice, never heard of him. We got Clyde Drexler. I actually have his 86 Fleer rookie card, PSA 8. I picked up months ago. Um, really nice. He went up against Jordan. I remember Jordan was like, really? Like, this guy thinks he's on my level? <laughs> it was pretty funny. Um, Jerry Reynolds, which just shows you how darn good Jordan was. It just... It was crazy. Jerry, uh, Jerry Reynolds, Dan Marley. I used to say Majural because I didn't know how to pronounce his name. But, yeah. Ronnie, I'm not going to try that one. Steve Smith. D. Brown. Ron Anderson. And you see, too, like the images like this. You know, him. Probably his rookie year there. We got David Robinson. Which I have his rookie cards. Um, set him down for a second there. Get some more sleeves ready. Can't tell if that's like a, supposed to be a line that goes through the hollow foil there. But other than that, a sharp looking card. David Robinson. And then we got the Hakeem Olajuwon right after it. Nice. I still got to get his rookie card. It's a little more pricey. I think that even the PSA 8 is like 350 Actually, I just picked one up. That's right. I just got the Hakeem Olajuwon rookie. I got one for 285 for a PSA 8, which I was stoked on. Because they're they've been going for around 350 or so. So I finally got that. I just need the the main one I need is the Barkley and the Dominique Wilkins from the 86 Fleer. I just I think I just got a Dumars as well. That was pretty cheap. Yeah, he's one of those guys from back then that actually got a championship because after Jordan retired he won in uh, 90 94 and 95 so Larry Johnson who won uh, rookie of the year I, I feel like kind of comparing him with uh, Zion <laughs> just because he was like that bigger guy that was kind of a big deal back then and then you know he didn't make it in the Hall of Fame or anything uh, Del Curry Chris Morris because I do believe he was plagued with injury. 
Just like Zion, you know, his first year in, he already got a bad knee injury. Kenny Smith, Charles Smith, Derek Coleman, Mark Aguirre, which I think some people think he was in the Hall of Fame, but he did not make the Hall of Fame. Mark Aguirre. And there's the David Robinson base card. Oh, his back. So his back was bad. Yeah, unfortunate for being bigger. Uh, top to bottom off centered on that one as well. Yeah, I did grade the, my Larry Johnson rookie cards as Fleer. I think maybe a Skybox and his hoops. So I still have yet to get those back from PSA, I don't think. AC Green, Gerald Wilkins. But he's about the same price as uh, the Dikembe Mutombo rookie. Got Byron Scott. Muggsy Bogues. He was really short. Guy was like 5'3", 140 pounds. But, man... Gotta be you gotta be good if you're that short and you're in the NBA. Uh, I think Byron Scott's in the Hall of Fame. So did he play for the Lakers? I did not know that. Huh. So he might be one of the guys in the documentary as well. Con his Converse contract in the TV commercials. Grandma's house. Donald, uh, what's going on? Welcome. We got Alvin Robertson. Another guy. People thought was in the Hall of Fame, but he's not. John Paxson. I just remember him from the early Bulls championships. Glenn Rivers. Brad Daughtry. And I think Paxson did really well in the in those early years, I want to say. I seen the some of the early championships the Bulls won. Paxson was killing it. Um Dennis Scott, Sean Elliott, Brad Daughtry. That's like the 85, or no, 86 tops. And just as, just as bad as off-centered as the actual 86 tops. Hersey Hawkins. And we got Eddie Johnson, Michael Adams, Hornacek. He was pretty good. There's another Larry Johnson that's... Pretty nice. Draft pick card. Got Vern Fleming. Sydney Green. John Williams. Harvey Grant. Some of these names I'm not really recognizing. There's the Ewing. Um, I think he works for Jordan. He's pretty humble about, you know, about... Um, the whole experience, you know, he didn't win any championships, but great player. Came out of Georgetown. This is part of the dream team. Pretty tall. I think he was close to seven. Yeah, seven foot tall. Just great player. Forced to be reckoned with those New York Knicks back in the day. But yeah, unfortunately, he did not win a championship, but still. And I do have his 86 clear rookie card, so. There's Johnny Newman. Still haven't pulled the Rodman out of here yet either. Ooh, there's the Barkley. Nice. Little left to right on that. Thought that was a paper loss spot, but it's not. Top to bottom looks pretty good. Maybe a little tilted. Ooh, what is that? It's like a piece of piece of crud on the card or something. Or it's just a, like. Right on the basketball there, there's like a spot where that, I don't know. Maybe the, um, the gloss, something happened to it, so that's not good. Not a huge card or anything, but, you know, I definitely wanted to take a look at them anyways. See how they looked. Hand Banana said one of your favorite sets. Very cool. Yeah, it's, it's a unique set, and this was the first year Tops made cards for basketball since 1981. Uh, which we've seen the 81. Larry Bird there. Um, so that's why they had this set, because all these guys didn't have rookie cards for Tops because Tops didn't make cards for so long. So they put all these guys, and it's like their Tops rookie card, kind of. So that's why it's the archives. It's like they're going back in time and reprinting or, you know, making these guys have a rookie card. But... I don't know if this set came out before the regular top set came out. I have no idea on the release dates and all that stuff. So if anybody knows, let me know. Dale Ellis. 
Lafayette Lever, Fat Lever, I think he goes by that name. Orlando Roeridge, he's an old Bulls guy. I don't think he made the Hall of Fame, but yeah, see, 82 would have probably been his rookie card year, but that was the first set that, you know, the first year that Topps stopped, stopped making rookie or er, cards. Johnny Dawkins. Ooh, we got the Akeem insert card. Very, very nice. It's black border to make that such a tough card if you wanted to grade it, but. One actually looks really, really good. Akeem Olajuwon. And we got Michael Williams. We got Spud Webb. This guy, I'm pretty sure he won the dunk contest. I'm not sure what year that was. It was before Jordan won it. 87, 88, somewhere in there. And he was only 5'7", but man, the guy had vertical leap like crazy. You can see him doing like a crazy dunk there. It was only 5'7", 135 pounds. Um, let's see, he was born in 63, so that would make um, 57. There was a video on YouTube of him dunking, but it was obviously edited, and he just jumped off a trampoline. Of course, he's older and a lot more overweight and stuff like that now. But, yeah, this guy was crazy. That's how he was known for, his like 5'7", Duncan and stuff. Uh, Jim said Larry was the first to come out as a cross-dresser his grandma commercials oh okay before the lgbt i did not know that <clears throat> okay stevie said it um first card video i've watched in months very cool appreciate you coming larry nance eric floyd there's dumars which had an 86 Fleer rookie card, which I'm pretty sure I just picked one up. Maybe I got outbid, I can't remember. Sedale Threat, Buck Williams, Purvis Ellison. I can't remember what cards I, I picked up lately. <laughs> I've got a lot that are on the way, so. We have to be coming up on that Jordan Shaq card, though. I'm starting to get worried because we haven't hit it yet. Ooh, there's the uh, Dennis Rodman. And there's the Shaq, right as we say it, we get the Shaq card. So yeah, this is the card you want here, guys. So it was his rookie year in 92, so it's basically a rookie card. And he doesn't have a regular card in this set, he just has this one card. This one looks pretty darn mint. I mean, I don't see anything on the card to really complain about. I don't see any paper loss or issues on the front, all the corners are sharp, maybe a little bit on that corner. Hard to tell with that. So yeah, we're gonna sleeve that up. That's going to PSA. Hopefully we get a nine or a ten on it. Unless it's off centered and I'm not I'm not seeing it. Looks like a good one to me. So we're crossing our fingers on that Jordan, that's gonna come out solid. Be nice to get a Shaq nine and a Jordan nine out of this box. That would, you know, pay the whole entire price of the box at two hundred bucks basically. <sighs> Here we go, Shaquille O'Neal. Give you guys a little bit better look at it. Really nice card. I mean, look this up on eBay. It's a P, you know PSA nine. It's, you know, I think it's a hundred dollar card even. Oh, uh, let's see here. Luke Longley played for the Bulls as well, and he was seven foot two. Wow. So we got the Rodman. Pretty OC on that one. Oh shoot. See, that's the 86 Tops design, but he didn't have a card until 1988. So, that is strange. If anyone has any um, idea on that, let me know. We got Antone Carr, Kevin Willis, Jay Humphreys, John Seeley. We gotta be coming up on that, Jordan. Mark Aguirre, Ramil Robinson. Stuck to something here, and Ken Anderson. Dikembe Mutombo, there he is. Not in my house. <laughs> it's like Cliff, Cliff Robinson there. And uh, that's really off-centered. Yeah, that's the 90, 91 tops from the baseball. I remember that set very well. 
Is Rodman card a misprint? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, according to the back of the card, it said his last year of college was 85-86, so his rookie year would have been 86. Was he not drafted in 86? I don't know. Maybe, like I said, somebody can tell me. Uh, let's see. You got Horace Grant, who you know, left the Bulls after Jordan left, and he went to Magic. And the Magic beat um, the Bulls when Jordan came back in 95. Towards the end of the season, uh, they made up playoffs, but the Magic kicked them out, and Horace had a real big game in there. And the next year, the Bulls made sure to kick their butts because they were pretty ticked off about that. So, And we got the Jordan coming up here, and there she is. Definitely left a right on it. Um, nothing more to see that I can complain about. Top to bottom's a little off as well. And looks very, very solid other than that. So it might fall within the PSA 9 parameters. I don't know. It's really, really nice looking. Uh, it just is lacking the centering on it. So hopefully it's good enough for a 9. Um, but yeah, it's going into my PC regardless. Box pulled by me, Michael Jordan. The card. Yeah, I tried looking this card up and there really wasn't that many copies available. And the PSA ones were pretty expensive. So I just decided, why not just buy the box and pull the card out myself? Yeah, unfortunately that borders off pretty good. So it might only come back in eight, I don't know. There's Scott Skiles. Chuck Persone. Kevin Duckworth. I think he was the guy in, in hoops. Was it 89 hoops? You'd pull his card and then Jordan would be right after it. John Bagley. Rex Chapman. Jeff Malone. There was a lot of Malones back then. Moses Malone, Jeff Malone, Carl Malone. Stacy Ogman. Xavier McDaniels. Armin Gilliam. Trent Tucker. There's Sam Bowie. There's the guy that got drafted over Jordan. Because, yeah, he was 7'1", 240. I mean, how could you deny how good Jordan was? <laughs> You've seen how good he was in North Carolina. Crazy. Chris Jackson, Terry Cummings. Not going to try that one. There's Drazen Petrovic. Tragically died in a car accident. Leaving Germany in, like, 92. But he was a great. That guy could play with the best of them. So... Derek Harper, Danny Ainge, Delph, I'm not, people always make fun of me how I pronounce that one, and Benoit Benjamin. So, yeah, not a bad box. Um, I mean, we got the two cards we wanted, the Jordan and the Shaq. I'd say the Shaq has a good shot. Uh, I'd, I'd say it's a potential 10, you know, with hopefully a worst-case scenario of a 9. Uh, and the Jordan um, is... I would say, I would say hopefully it's a nine, but it's possible it's only going to get an eight because of that centering. That's the only thing just dis detracting from it. I mean, everything else is pretty much perfectly flawless. So, still happy about that. And, you know, a lot of the better ones that we did get, unfortunately, like, you know, the Rodman, the, the Barkley had that little spot on the card. The Ewing is way off centered. Elijah one's way off centered. Pippin's way off centered. So I think the centering issue on this set was really the kind of the bu bummer. Stockton's off centered as well. So Carl Malone, Mitch Richmond. So yeah, nice set. And uh, maybe I'll just sell the rest of the set off as you know um, everything except for the. Uh, Jordan and Shaq cards <laughs> and maybe somebody will buy it for you know a decent amount because yeah these cards don't have a whole lot of value other than you know these two cards unfortunately uh, Danny Angel was an All-American in two sports I did not know that Luke Moss what's going on so yeah that's going to be it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed it uh, we got to crack this open and I you know I, like I said 
something I kind of thought of getting, but the prices went so crazy with the Jordan documentary. I just happened to look the set up, and then I was like, you know what, what's the box go for? And then this seller had literally listed it the same day for, you know, $200, buy it now, and I was like, screw it, that's a great deal. I mean, the box looked perfect, the, you know, the plastic and everything was good, so I was like, just makes sense to just go ahead and buy it, so I did. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, hope you guys have a good weekend. Fortunately, I didn't get any cards because I didn't even see that they stocked the shelves. And with it being close to the holidays, going out and hitting these stores, it's just so many people. I just try to avoid crowds and all that stuff. It just gets on my nerves. So, <laughs> uh, three-sport, all-American athlete. That's crazy. Uh, I'll have to look into that. Thanks for letting me know, Jim. Um, but, yeah, have a good weekend. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought of the opening. And we'll see you in the next one.